The suspense over the chief ministers in the three states continues. Marathon meetings being held here in Delhi and also in all the states. Well, the BJP has appointed central observers, which includes Rajnath Singh, the defense minister in Rajasthan as the main observer, and also uh, Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar as the main observer in Madhya Pradesh. Well, in Rajasthan, uh, which is uh, certainly the most uh, challenging state for the BJP, uh, many CM probables now emerging, including Dia Kumari, Baba Bhatt, Laknath. Also, former Chief Minister Vasundhara Rajay, who was in Delhi recently, she is being seen as a front runner as well. Baba Balaknath, as I said. Also, Gajendra Singh Shekhawat, Union Minister, who brings a certain amount of experience and ministerial experience uh, to the table. Uh, he is also being seen as a Chief Minister probable. In Madhya Pradesh, uh, the BJP, of course, is looking at fresh faces and at the same time, uh, Chief Minister Shivrat Singh Chauhan, whose Ladli Behna Yojana is credited for the victory as well. Now, as far as Chhattisgarh is concerned, well, in Chhattisgarh, the BJP is torn between the OBC phase and projecting a tribal phase as a chief minister. Of course, the Raman Singh, Bagel fact, Raman Singh factor cannot be ignored Lodi, as far as Chhattisgarh is concerned. We'll have our experts and our senior reporters joining us on the broadcast as well. But first, let's uh, listen in to what Anurag Thakur had to say as far as the Rajasthan chief minister choice is concerned. Um, Somvar ko अशोक गहलोत जी की जो इच्छा है उसको भी पूरा करेंगे क्योंकि पाँच साल उनकी सरकार में तो केवल भ्रष्टाचार भाई भतीजावाद और आपसी मतभेद ही देखे गए अब उनको थोड़ी देर शांति से बैठना चाहिए हमारी पार्टी में ऊपर से आदेश नहीं होते हमारी भारतीय जनता पार्टी में आंतरिक लोकतंत्र बहुत मजबूत है सबसे विचार विमर्श करके विधायक दल की बैठक करके उसके बाद नेता चुना जाता है and well, in Rajasthan, the state president C.P. Joshi gave no clarity uh, as such as far as the chief minister uh, is concerned. But he said that the Gehloth government also took 16 days to form the government. On what basis are they questioning the uh, BJP listener? Ashok Gehloth ji, maybe that day was the day of 2018. When the government was formed in the government, it was 16 days. अभी हमारे पर्यवेक्षकों की नियुक्ति हो गई शीघ्र ही विधायक दल की बैठक होगी और उसके बाद आगामी प्रक्रिया तय होगी and our senior colleagues uh, Harsha and Umar joining us. Harsha from Rajasthan and Umar from Telangana. Going across to you first, Harsha ma'am. You know, the central observers have been appointed, but the suspense continues. Uh, you know, you've been covered Rajasthan for such a long time, for decades. Which way do you see the tide, uh, you know, going in the sense that, uh, of course, uh, in Delhi, Vasundhara Raja held a meeting as well and marathon meetings of the high command as well. Uh, what to expect? Well, I think what they are going to be doing is definitely keeping an eye on 2024. So whoever will become the chief minister will probably be someone who they are confident uh, will get them all 25 seats. So remember, last two elections, they've done 25 out of 25, hat trick. And they're hoping for a hat trick this time. Now, Rajasthan is a state with a lot of complicated caste combinations. So, you know, you have to factor those in. You also need uh, perhaps some amount of uh, uh, experience with governance because you will have a lot of senior MLAs there. And if you're not making Vasundra Rajay, then somewhere you will have to have, uh, you know, her uh, blessing, so to speak. Because remember, if you look at this election, uh, they had to accommodate her. So you have to factor in the Vasundra factor. I think that's also going to be important. Very difficult to second guess who will be becoming. We know, all know the names which are, uh, you know, doing the rounds. All the names that you took, plus uh, the fact that there are senior ministers, Arjun Ram, Meghwal. There's even talk that someone like Ashwini Vaishnav could have been parachuted in given his uh, exemplary governance record. So there are many, many names, even Speaker Om Birla. Uh, for example, his name had done the rounds long back. Then there's the BJP president here, CP Joshi. So all these names are definitely there. Who will be the choice? Uh, one really cannot, like we were saying, second guess them. But definitely it has to be someone who will give them this hat trick of 25 seats in the Lok Sabha. Before I come to you, Uma, uh, is uh, you know the, the the caste factor, as you said, and the sort of balancing act and sort of looking at uh, perhaps a stable government in Rajasthan for not just the next five years but the next ten years, are these factors more important than you know the numbers game? Who has uh, you know the, the support of the MLAs? Uh, you know, in the case of Rajasthan, in the case of BJP, ultimately it's a high command who sort of factors in various aspects, and the numbers game is in a sense irrelevant here. 
Absolutely. I think the numbers game is uh, irre- irrelevant here and really the BJP high command uh, knows who is pulling the strings there. But yes, you know, uh, apart from the caste arithmetic, there was also uh, some kind of a conversation in the BJP that we need to move beyond caste. So we need to have class, we need to have representation, we need to have women. You know, so these factors could also be perhaps somewhere uh, as important as the caste arithmetic. Mm-hmm. You know, rep- rep- representing class, representing a certain, com- uh, you know, uh, say for example, representation for women or, you know, youth. So these kind of things I think are as important to them as the caste arithmetic.